Prayer is a relationship and not a task. And I think the penny finally dropped for me when I went on what was called a house party. I went to university at 18 and there I met Sarah, who's now our Dean, uh, for the first time. Uh, we were uh, a year apart, uh, but we were both members of uh, the Christian Union and Sarah was the leader of the Christian Union and therefore it was her uh, duty when the person who was supposed to be leading our pre-term house party um, uh, where we were all going away together uh, for uh, a few days retreat before the term started and when the person who was due to come and lead it and give all the talks it fell to her to step into the breach and do some impromptu talks um, for that few days together and Sarah I remember giving one amazing talk on prayer with uh, a visual image that has stayed in my mind ever since and hit me really profoundly at the time and uh, it's not too dramatic to say changed my life she was talking about prayer not being something you did in little discrete units, either at the beginning or the end of the day, or when you went to church, or when you went to chapel, or when you went to a prayer meeting, or whatever, or at the beginning and the end of a Bible study. But prayer was something that you did every day. And I suppose it not only hit me because of the way Sarah did it, or the visual image, but because I was involved in the visual image. Uh, she got a piece of, a long piece of thin rope or string I can't remember but she got me to hold the other end of it and it was like a skipping rope and those of you who are girls women will remember uh, skipping in the playground and you got um, two of you um, held the end of the rope uh, and turned it while uh, a, 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 a stream of other girls uh, ran in and out and uh, skipped in the rope uh, but as she was talking about prayer, um, you prayed perhaps when you 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 prayed at the beginning of the day uh, and then the, it dipped and then you prayed at the end of the day at the other end. But she got me and her to pull the rope taut and she said, actually, prayer should be constant. You prayed all the way through the day. And obviously, you can't be saying prayers all the way through the day. But what she was getting at was that prayer, therefore, is not the dear Lord, uh, concentrating, but prayer is a relationship and that our aim is to grow in our awareness of God with us. So it's not a task that we do, but that actually God is with us, that prayer is not something we do, but prayer is something God is in us, uh, whether we're aware of it or not. And that our task as Christians is to grow in the joy and the sorrow, just the awareness that God is present with us every moment of every day and prayer is not a duty or a task but prayer is a relationship and because God is omnipresent God is present for us and with us every moment and every day and because God is love that is not is something we don't have to hide from God's presence that is something to be rejoiced in and something is a gift and a resource for us through the difficult moments of our life and to be rejoiced in in the loving moments of our life. So prayer is a relationship and God is with us at every moment and that is something that we spend all of our lives learning about.